YouTube and welcome to the Second Street Market in downtown Dayton. This is a farmer's type of market thing. The Metro Park zones at Five Rivers Metro Park owns it and you can get a lot of local produce and other things here that are grown locally unlike from out of town. It's a pretty neat little setup that they have here somebody was curious about this place asked me about it so I thought I'd do a video of of it it's a pretty nice place to to go you know this is the outside of the building on East 2nd Street so just gonna show you guys a little tour of this place pretty neat it's Saturday, it's one of their busiest days, so I wanted to showcase this on a busy day of the week. The market is busy, it is Saturday today. Various vendors, blue jacket, cheese, gourmet pasta. T Hill Farms right here. Creamery Grassroots Dancer. Good. Olive tree, so olive oils, vinegar, things like that. Pretty neat. Don't worry about it. So yeah, GMH O oh, is another thing that for people like to eat now for healthier food, the people that are more crazy about their health, and you could find that here. Here's a place that sells watches right here. And uh, Hydro Grower, so another locally grown vegetable right here. Some various arts and crafts right here. Donner's make Maple Camp, so you got some good local, independent, you know, grown produce right here. Pretty nice grapes, various other things, broccoli right here. Got honey maple syrup that is grown locally in Ohio, because of course Ohio does have a lot of sugar maple trees. There's the vendor right here. Various things right here, rain barrels right here. Various homemade bread, pretty nice thing here. Garber Farm, this is a north, this is just north of Dayton right here, so they got a spot down here for this. As far as I know, all these vendors are independent of the Metro Park, so. Here's Amish cheese and bologna, bologna. Here's specialty coffee right here, hot oatmeal, things like that. Right down here. I may stop in and have lunch down here. I haven't made up my mind yet, but. Here's sandwiches and salads right here. The Chef Case Pasta. Right here. A place where people can sit down and eat it. Another little restaurant right here. Pretty neat place. And uh, Annie's another little restaurant right here. All souped up, so various soups they sell here. All souped up here, so... Rue Farms right here. So, potato chips right here. You guys grow your own potato chips right here? And where? Champagne County. Champaign County. Yeah, that's great to have some stuff that's locally grown like we have at this place here. 
Here's homemade salsa right here. Walt's homemade salsa. Flower mantle. Somebody sells some flowers right here. Down here. Ah, uh, Praise and Company Colombian Comfort Food. Desserts by Ann K. So they obviously try and sell a little bit of desserts here. Cheesy meat pies right here. So another good thing. Looks like Australian flag right there. Looks like some pottery. Yep, pottery right here. John Graham pottery. So. Dayton Urban Green Sustainable Living Shop. So, yeah. Just a little look at their selection of stuff here. Marie's, Maria's Unique Foods. Granola All Natural. Various things right here. Various sauces. Horseradish sauce, hot toddy apple butter, various things like that here. <clears throat> Pretty neat place. Tim's Gifts and more. Looks like various wooden things right here that are made right here. Have a heart, rescue a friend. That's very true. And here's some more, you know, homemade jellies right here. Various flavors right here you guys can see. Along with some fruit, along with some vegetables that are grown. Homemade molasses, pure honey, sour wood right here. Marion's Candles and Crafts right here. So. Look like they got a cat here for a little bit of entertainment. Animals, Snackeries, Big Friends of Humane Society, obviously, owns this right here. And pets and people right here, so pretty neat place. But, uh... wanted to show people what this place is like. I had a friend that wondered what their, what this farmer's market is like. Got a few more vendors here at the end and uh, yeah it's a pretty neat place they got down here and uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm exiting, so I'm getting ready to end the, I'm going to get ready to end the video, but you can see the amount of people that are parked here. This place is full. So this is one place in Dayton that is doing good, thankfully, in downtown. They try and hype up a lot of things downtown, but this is a bright spot in the city as in downtown as well as it should because this is stuff that people do grow locally right here and uh, so yeah there's the I didn't get a really good shot of the sign the first time but there's second street market sign right here PNC second street market as I said it's owned by the Metro Parks and uh, Webster Street Market over here, so they're obviously have a few things they open up on the side here, but but anyway, YouTube, that's gonna be it for this one.